Hey everyone, Silver Hyena here. <sighs> I am exhausted. I am hungry. No sleep, no script, no problem. Because I have coffee. Ah, I do love me some morning wake up juice. But you wanna know something else that I love? leftovers. That's today's topic. Using leftovers to make a wonderful breakfast. All you gotta do? Add eggs. All right, let's get started. All right, so what we have here today is a sausage. You can use any kind of meat you like, but this is the one that I had available. This is a cheddar jalapeno sausage that I had gotten on a breakfast platter that was much larger than I was anticipating when I was out with friends. So we're gonna just use that. We have sliced tomato that we're gonna cut up a bit smaller. There we are. Onions, again, same store with the tomatoes. And to cook our lovely concoction in, we've got ourselves some bacon grease. Seriously, if you cook up some bacon, save the grease. And for good measure, some Italian seasoning for flavor. Now we gotta do the boring part before we can get on. So let's just slice up our meat and veggies. All right, so now that the veggies and the sausage is taken care of, it is time to work on prepping the eggs. Some people like to use milk for their scrambled eggs, but I'm gonna be a little bit extra. Half and half, that's where it's at. All right. One thing I've learned always crack your eggs into a separate container. That way, if an egg is bad, you won't contaminate everything you've worked hard on. Yes, I smell every egg I crack because you'll know a bad egg when you smell one. And if it passes the test, or you do, that is simple. Yes, it creates extra dishes, which I know is sacrilege to some people. There was a time it was sacrilege to me, but I've learned to be an adult and get over it. Right. Okay, once you've got your eggs in, time to add the seasoning of your choice, usually a bit of salt and some pepper. Salt and pepper is usually good, but I like to go a little above and beyond with some Italian seasoning, because we fancy here. On a side note, I also really enjoy pizza seasoning, <laughs> but we didn't have any, so Italian seasoning will have to do. And I don't really measure, I just kind of wing it. Eh, that looks good. Now, just mix it all up. Mmm, pastel yellow egg soup. Doesn't that look good? Well, it'll be a lot better once we Now 
And to save us some time, we can just put all of this in here. Okay, I promise I'll wash the counter later. All of this is going to be cooked together. Okay, I'll get rid of that now. Go with this. There we go. Get everything all mixed up in there. To the stove! All right, now it is time for the MVP of the show, bacon grease. Might not always look pretty like that, but it adds a ton of flavor. Now then, you can always use vegetable oil if you're trying to be a bit leaner, or you can just go with butter, the olive oil, there are alternatives but this needs to be used up, which is why I'm, well, using it. Just set that aside out of the way. I need another drink of coffee. Mm. Ah, delicious. Oh, it's also usually a good idea to turn the stove on. That usually helps. Of our mixture. Now we wait for the bacon grease. Now bacon grease does not take long at all to melt. Gee, and that took forever. Now Pour that in there. Get all that incorporated. Mm, already it's smelling really good. Sorry for the noise there, but I needed to turn on the vent. Oh, yeah. Don't want to let it burn. Don't, don't do that. Because while well, scrambled eggs are wonderful, half raw scrambled eggs, not so much. But neither is burnt. Very important. The reason why you want to use some sort of oil or butter or bacon grease. You don't want this sticking to your pan because cleanup will be a nightmare. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. And you don't have to use onions or tomatoes. That's just what I use because that's what I had. You can use spinach. You can use mushrooms if you like those bell peppers, any combination thereof. I mean, whatever you like in your eggs, use it. And this, in, like I said, it's a great way to use up leftovers and just get them out of the fridge. Mm. 
I'll lower the heat. I don't know what your stove is like, but mine, it has a crazy burner that it just loves to go all out. Oh. It's always been that way. So I've just learned to deal with it. Mm. Alrighty, it's done. Just give it one more stir over the heat. It might not look fancy, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is a really nice comfort breakfast. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, that is... I wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing. It's time for the quality control. You all know it. Mm, got some of the onion, the tomato with sausage egg, a little bit of everything all in one bite. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Mm. I desperately wanted something other than box cereal nailed it. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. Please leave a like if you enjoyed that video, especially if it inspired you to do your own refrigerator raid. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Have you tried this? Have you done a different variation on it? This is Silver Hyena, signing off. And I'm hungry. Bye.